I remember years ago I was brave right to the bone Hi, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Talk Show. Today's topic is, do you know how to say sorry to your partner? Now this seems like kind of like a no-brainer, that we have a fight, we each take turns to sort of make sure that we know that, you know, we played our part in it and we're going to apologize to them. But what's happening is a lot of people don't like to apologize. Some people don't know how to. It makes them feel vulnerable, makes them feel insecure, that their pride is wounded. The trouble with not apologizing to your partner when things go wrong is it builds up within your relationship. Whatever the case is as to how you get to the place where you have to apologize to your partner, it's really good to talk it out and figure out why it got to that level. Because once you both know what triggers the other person, then you can stop these things from happening. I've said this in numerous videos, but communication really is the glue that keeps a relationship continuing and brings a healthy, healthy partnership. If you're not going to apologize for something that you've done, it's going to build and it's going to make your partner look at you a lot differently. So your pride gets a little wounded because you have to be vulnerable and apologize. That's okay because it makes you grow as a person too. It makes you take, look at yourself and say, wow, okay, that was wrong. Why did I do that? I, I don't feel good about that. And it makes you feel unbalanced, unsettled. And it makes you feel like, wow, this, my partner is looking at me in a different light because if it continues to go on and there's no communication or apologies, that come into place when you have these big fights or these big communication blocks, then you're going to be at the stage in your, in your relationship where you're existing, but you're not a couple anymore. So don't be too proud. And, and there's nothing wrong with owning something and saying you're sorry. Because as I said, it does, it, it makes you understand yourself better. If you're constantly in denial, about what you're doing wrong or right in the relationship, after a while you just lose faith in it. So if you want to keep your relationship on a really good path, apologize to your partner if you have a fight, sit down and communicate with them and make sure that they, they understand you and you understand them. And don't let it go on for a long time. Take the time to sit down and talk about it with them. Because most of the problems in relationships when they dissolve is because of the lack of discussion. A lot of the times a couple doesn't even really know the other person because they never took the time to get to know them. So sometimes fights are a good thing because they can bring you to a different level in your relationship. But just make sure that you, you talk about what happened and put yourself out there and say sorry and hopefully they will return that as well and you can have a nice committed relationship without so much drama. Okay, thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Uh, thank you for all my new subscribers. I appreciate you very much and, and please keep the comments coming. I like to have more comments and show topics and ideas so don't be afraid to send me a private message or leave a comment under the video. Thanks everyone. Show!